so I know that we all have that one friend or that one person that you look at and you're like, how, how are they? We have the same hours in a day, right? How on earth do they get so much done all the time and still manage to have some kind of social life? It's not magic. It, honestly, <laughs> it's not. What we're going to discuss in today's video is time management and productivity. Oh, pause. So first of all, grab your pen, grab your notepad, get comfortable, and we're gonna go over some details that I hope you find useful. Marie's memoir. So making a list. Honestly, I am an avid list maker. And the reason why is because when you make a list, like say for example, you make a list to go to the grocery store. Why do you make that list? You make that list so you don't forget anything important that you know you need. So if you know you need milk and you know you're really forgetful and then you write down bread, sugar, everything but milk and you go and you do not remember the milk, that's a problem. If you do remember the milk, that's amazing. But if you don't, that's a problem. And then making a list is basically a reference point. You can always reference to, okay, what should I be doing next? What else can I be getting on with? Um, and it depends on the kind of content or depends on the kind of list that you're making because some lists you'll need to have a deadline on it. If you're working with projects and creative work, etc. Or some lists you could do, you could use as like a schedule. So then when you're kind of like schedule, so for example, what I do, and not everybody's going to do this or will be would appreciate doing this either. But I literally have a weekly schedule which breaks down my day every day. So I have a particular day that I have two days, which is the weekend, that I try not to do any work. Um, I've got one specific day that I dedicate to one project, one specific day for making my lunches for the week. I've got one specific day. So I've got an every day there's content or something that I know I should be doing and that includes me time. So that helps me stay organized and manage what I'm supposed to be doing on a day to day and a, on a, on a weekly basis. It does help. So when you're scheduling these kind of things, it, it just kind of like things won't, if, you, if you're working on a project, for example, you're not necessarily going to, if it's implemented into your schedule, you're not, it's going to become second nature. And now, the, the schedules that I have for my week, every day, it's second nature. I no longer need the schedule because I know what I'm supposed to be working on. However, within those different aspects, like say for example, I'm working on a project and my project that I'm working on is every Wednesday from, I don't know, seven till eight or something like that. If I know I'm supposed to be working between those times on that, then I know that, okay, when Wednesday comes, I know I'm preparing to start working on it. So it's kind of like, um, it's just reminding ourselves like, okay, when we, when we make a list or when we make a schedule, so you've got your lists and then you've got your schedule. When you merge them together, um, you'll find that as long as you stay disciplined and you keep to your schedule, you'll be okay. You will be able to work through the different aspects that you're supposed to be work that you want to work on. And it kind of helps you manage your time as well, because then, along with the work that you're doing and the extra hours and wherever you fit it in, depending on if you've got a full-time job or not, you can always manage your time. And this is a great way to do it. And so even with the list making, when you put, for example, okay, um, because if you didn't want to be so structured, you could say, okay, each week I'm going to do four hours reading. I'm going to complete, um, I don't know, a thousand words on an essay. I'm going to do two hours of research. And so each week you're kind of, you're setting yourself a goal. And the, what, the day before you've set that weekly task, so say for example, you do that on the Sunday. And then on the Saturday, you would reevaluate, check over, just make sure that you know you, you've done what you're supposed to do. And then you could set, you could keep the same regime and just fit it in wherever you see necessary. Because not everybody's going to have, um, for example, when you're working full time, sometimes you have set hours, sometimes you don't. And sometimes uh, with part time, your hours are always changing. So that's another way that you could, um, that you could implement a schedule is just put in the hours and not necessarily the specific days and such as, 
you know, with detailed breakdowns. There's another thing that will come useful as well. I say thing. There's another aspect of it that will be useful. And it's the fact that if you have a schedule and people are asking you to do different things, you can always relate back to that schedule and see if you actually have the capacity to do that extra project or to do those that extra work, whatever it is. You can look at your schedule and be like, okay, I can maybe jig stuff around. I can maybe start this for two weeks and then put this in there. So it's just like, it kind of, for me, it does help me um, not to overwork myself. I do love working, <laughs> and, but I do, it's important to have that me time. And that's why that is, I schedule. Make sure you schedule your off time, your relaxation time, your meditational time. Make sure that is in there as well. Because if you're, if you start overworking yourself, you're not used to anybody because you will burn yourself out. Um, so I just wanted to bring that back to the forefront <laughs> and just make sure that with it, with our scheduling, don't be too, don't try to fill up all of your hours um, with things to do. Give yourself free time because you're not gonna want to. It's not healthy to be constantly on the go, 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 go all the time. So just make sure that you are scheduling those breaks have an evening to yourself make just make sure you're you are okay and whatever you have put in your schedule make sure you are comfortable and make sure that you can actually attain it and it it suits you 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 know what you can do and you know your capabilities um so that's what i would say is just be mindful when you are doing the schedules just make sure that you are putting um giving yourself free time as in time to do nothing just relax chill whatever you need to do bake a cake i don't know <laughs> but just make sure you're having that time to yourself to just to just chill do not overwork yourself the whole purpose of the schedule is not to overwork yourself or give yourself too much to do it helps you uh, measure your capacity and if you can actually change things etc so yeah just wanted to mention that mm -hmm. Another aspect is multitasking. Now, it, it is better to single task rather than multitask. I know there's this kind of thing where, you know, oh, I can multitask, I can do 100 things at one time. Yeah, it's not really about that. It's about uh, making sure that when you are, when your brain is focusing on something, you focus on that one thing and you do that one thing well. Um, if, for example, you, you're jumping between three different tasks or three different things, that actually increases stress and you lose focus on what you're doing because you're having to share that out between the different tasks. So it is better rather than um, say for example, and I, I used to do this, I would be like, okay, cool. I'm gonna have two hours of reading and then I'm gonna have two hours of um, social media marketing and then I'm gonna have one hour that I'm going to watch my American sitcoms or whatever that may be. And it's just like, okay, I would sit down and be like, okay, for two hours, okay, cool, I'm gonna focus. But then I knew the moment those two hours started, I knew that I had something, the, the social media marketing part that was coming afterwards. So then I was, my brain was kind of like, okay, I'm also an overthinker. <laughs> so then I've already started this task and doing great, but then as the time's going by, my focus is now, drifting over to the next task because that's what I want to get completed next and then that's kind of how I learned that no, no, no I for me I need to block it try to keep your um, your focus to one particular task at a time um, and then try and minimize any kind of distractions that you're having whilst doing these tasks that will help you stay focused and help your ideas to generate and keep flowing and all that good stuff <laughs> So yes, I did want to pinpoint that as well. Consistency. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Forget how you're feeling. <laughs> because if, if we're all honest, yeah, if we did things based on how we felt at the time, we probably wouldn't get a lot done. For example, the gym. Now, as much as I love keeping fit, all that stuff, you know, everybody's in the gym, great, stay healthy. However, if I went to the gym every single time I felt like going, I wouldn't do as much fitness or I wouldn't do as much um, gym, I wouldn't visit the gym as much. 
because I rarely feel like going to the gym, okay? But <laughs> I sometimes will have to force myself to go to the gym. I don't wanna go, I'm t I will make up the most amount of excuses as to why I should not go to the gym, why it's okay for me not to go today. Oh, you don't have to do it today because X, Y, and Z. Your brain will make the most amount of excuses it's, 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 it's encouraging you and enabling you to be lazy. That's basically what's happening. And it's just like, okay, um, with the idea of starting as you mean to go on, when you start something, remember why you started it. So whenever you don't want to do something, remember, bring yourself back to why you started doing it in the first place, whether that's fitness, whether that's reading a book, whether that's writing a book, whether that's writing a song, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just making sure that you stick at it and then you have that discipline to just keep going and make sure you go depending on, how, don't depend on your feelings. Your feelings, guys, are wishy-washy. <laughs> They're wishy, they come and they go. And so if you're doing things based on feelings, you're really not gonna get anywhere. So just make sure that in regards to consistency, you, like I said before, you have that schedule, you have that plan, but then you just make sure that you are, forget how you feel, just get on with it. If you know you've got two hours reading, get on with it. If you know you've got to go to the gym, get on with it. If you know you've got to go to the grocery store, get on with it, just, just do it. Sometimes we overthink things and then we cause problems for ourselves. And that really does enable laziness. Yeah, it, it really does. <laughs> So um, in regards to consistency, just keep going. Um, just be mindful that sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you wake up and you're a little bit tired or something can happen during the day and, you're, and it makes you tired or mentally exhausted or emotionally exhausted. Make sure you're mindful of that and make sure you, you give yourself and your mind and your body the break that it needs, the rest that it needs. Like I said, don't overcompensate for things but do the needful of what you know you can manage, what you know you can do, and get it done. Get it done. Another thing that might help with that um, is accountability. If you, um, if you have somebody that you're accountable to, or you're working with somebody, it might make the process a little bit more, a little, a little easier, because then if you're slacking, that person would be like, come on, we've got to do it. It's like a gym partner. Come, let, you know, let's go, let's let's do it, whatever. Do you understand? Or they'll be like, okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna start mine now or start at the same time. Different things like that. You understand that you can have somebody be a part of what you're doing so that you can be accountable to them and they can be accountable to you for whatever they're trying to achieve. So then you have that kind of, it's not mentorship, but it's just accountability. I'll go into accountability in more detail in a different video. Cause I think that's another important aspect um, that I would like to talk about. So yeah, so consistency, it's it's a big thing. And if you, oh, so for example, I keep mentioning like gym stuff, like guys, I'm, I'm not a gym, I'm not a PT, you know, nothing like that, but it's just an easy way to do, like give the explanations. So one of the examples that just came to my head is like, um, say for example, you start going to the gym and you've just started, just got your membership, you've gone, gone for a 20 minute jog and then you've gone on to um, the leg press, whatever machines, you know, you're doing stuff in the gym, okay? And then the next day, you go again. So then you keep this going. So four days now, you've, you've gone to the gym and then you're looking at your body like, oh, I was hoping to uh, get that hourglass. <laughs> Or I was hoping to be all hench and whatnot. And it's just like, well, after four days, you, what are you doing? You, you're expecting too much. You have to trust in the process and give it time. Over time, you will see the definition that you want to see. Of course, with the gym, okay, disclaimer, with the gym, it's your diet as well, what you're eating and your lifestyle, okay? Like, so it, it's not just gonna happen so fast it's it's going to take time it's a process and you've got to trust that process and be consistent in that process so that your body can start to adjust to the changes that are actually happening the changes have started you will you will notice little things changing but you're not gonna you can't start something and expect to see an end result after such a short period it's not how it works 
got to keep going. You've really got to keep going. And then um, just make sure that you're encouraging yourself to continue and the rest of it, you know? Do little things like, um, oh, I'll go into detail in another video, but little things like um, if you've hit a milestone or if you've achieved something quite good that you're proud of, give, treat yourself. Do something small that's a positive um, reinforcement in regards to your successes, your mini successes and your big successes. It doesn't matter. If, if you've got a success, it's a success. Celebrate, celebrate it, celebrate it. You've done well, well done but keep going, keep going, consistency. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found the content useful. Thanks again for listening.